Welcome back towners. Today we're going to make some cauliflower grits. Let's get it. All right, to start off this recipe, we have our pot here. We added in some water as well as some heavy whipping cream and we put that over our heat now we have our heat to a low medium low heat we don't want to do this fast or anything uh, we then added in some butter and let that uh, slowly melt down into the uh, water and heavy whipping cream once it came to a simmer we then uh, added in our uh, bag of cauliflower grits that we had we also season that with some garlic powder as well as some black pepper. Now we placed the whole bag in here and then we also added in some salt to it. And uh, that's basically it. <laughs> that's the whole recipe. Um, it's done. You can turn the video off if you like and leave it at that. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Um, but that's pretty much the whole video. Um, you basically you're gonna cook this like rice you pour everything into the pot and just let it simmer on low you can put the lid on it and let it cook the whole time if you put the lid on too high medium or anything higher than that it will uh overflow uh, like rice does when it boils up but you just want to uh, put this on a low heat and keep stirring this and mixing this up every so often um, the liquid will reduce down into uh the cauliflower and the cauliflower will combine to form a grit consistency uh, the green specks that you see in there that looks like that's some of the cauliflower that still has some of the leaves attached to it but that's perfectly fine edible uh, but yeah you just keep keep uh, mixing this up once the liquid combine liquid reduces down and the grit combine uh, you're basically done you can season it to your tasting we added an additional piece of butter to it uh, you can add more salt or pepper if you need if you want to add cheese you can do that at this point and melt the cheese into the grits uh, but this is pretty much it um, if you wanted to uh, go further and basically turn this into cauliflower mashed potatoes, you could do that as well. If you want to just puree that down uh, further to uh, mush, not mush, <laughs> to a puree and just mash it down in a blender or with a potato masher. Um, and then you'll basically have uh, cauliflower mashed potatoes. I'll do that on another video. Um, this is our final product. I really didn't get any uh, final pictures of this. Um, my wife cooked this for breakfast and I just had her to record it and I remember, didn't realize she didn't take any pictures of it. Um, so this is the, this is it. This is the whole video. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Enjoy. Enjoy. Please subscribe. Enjoy. Hey guys, as always, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. All menu items are listed in the description box. And thank you guys for watching.